Hey gang, how are we all? Welcome back to my channel. If someone has found my voice in Paris, can they return it, please? Honestly, it's Wednesday now, and I've wanted to film since the beginning of the week, but my voice has been woeful. Like, today is literally the best day that you can get. Um, so, yeah, being to Paris, didn't love it if you've seen the latest vlog. If you haven't, make sure you catch up with it. I'm home now. This morning, I went to Pilates, so I'm feeling very nimble queen. You know, girl, he's got the Dubai body to get. And it's not being funny, I am so excited for Dubai and the vlog that we are going to get for Dubai is going to be insane. Like, I can't wait. So, today, I'm literally just going to meet your mum and dad now for a for some lunch even in the water in Cannes Liverpool. It's absolutely gorgeous in there. I don't know whether anyone's been. I'll show you a few clips. And then, I'm going to Home Sense, you guys, because... A new bear bricks landed. I know I can't help myself, but a new bear bricks in and I was honestly like last night, um one of my mates put it on TikTok and I was like, No, I've been after this bear brick for weeks. Where the where the hell was that? Because I went into Home Sense and one of my mates who works in Home Sense has been on the lookout and she was like, it was literally on the shelf. I was like, Don't mess. So we mate who works in there was like, I'll go in in the morning and see if it's there for you. And it was there and I was like, No, you need to keep that for me. I need to come and get it. So I'm literally flying over to Home Sense now and also you got a few Easter bits in. So I'll show you that. And then also, I'm going to London tomorrow, back again. Honestly, I can't wait. I am literally manifesting moving to our screen, by the way. I'm literally outside the Uni Liverpool. If you're from Liverpool, that's the year Uni Liverpool there. And there's kids coming out of schools. There's university students coming out. There's pure families that are going to walk past now. We're thinking, why is this girl got a camera out? It's quite embarrassing and there's cars everywhere. Anyway, honestly, this voice is not the one, you know. Like, this is my job. I've got podcasts to fill on. This is literally why I haven't been. I missed a podcast episode. No excuse, but the fact that I had no voice. Literally would have been a shambolic episode. Anyway, um, where was I off to? Where was I at then? Honestly, I've lost my head. I can't Oh, London. Going to London tomorrow with Crown Paint. So, so excited. That's going to be amazing. Then I've got a few other bits coming up. And then it's a week till my birthday today. Ah, so when you're watching this, it's my birthday on Wednesday. I'm 26. I know I don't look it. No, but like, it's actually terrifying now that I'm like officially an adult. And it's not the one. Like, I feel like 25, you get away with saying you're in your early 20s. But 26 onwards, you're pushing the 30 mark. And I've not got my life together. I love the fact that people watch my vlogs and look at me on social media and think I have. I'm just going to be real with you. I've got nothing together. I hope that makes people feel better because the amount of messages that people presume and I've got it all together. Please, if you could have a day in my shoes, you'd be like, is she all right? You remember, I show you my best bits on here and on all my socials. So do not be fooled. Anyway, because the girlie hasn't had enough air time, she's here again. <laughs> Oh, it's embarrassing, but I love her. So what can you do? Um, This car. I need a bigger car. That's that, This year, I want a new car. Don't do me like that. I know. I don't want to speak badly on my car because I absolutely love it. And I will cry. We've been through a lot together. Does anyone else feel like that with a car? Like, you just build a relationship. We've been through. We've been through a lot. Do you know what I mean? Like... I don't want to say because you know and what happens in this car stays in this car's been secrets in here like it really has so but yeah i'm just thinking i just need a big car now that i'm at 26 well you know, i'll probably be 26 nearly when you're used watching this oh no you are gonna cry anyway gonna go for lunch with me lovely mum and dad and then we'll go to home sense so enjoy the food content because girly is starving Sorry, why is it pitch black? And also, I was literally trying to sing the whole way here. I literally sound like Phoebe or Friends, like it's given smelly cat. No, you're human. I've just been driving along, for anyone who knows, Home Sense Angel, I've just been driving across like Ormsgate Road off the motorway. And I pulled in like in front of a fella. Bit of mind, I had loads of room. He literally came up behind me and was like swearing at me from behind the car at me. And then he realised I was a girl and then like panicked. And then he was like, in the seat like laughing because he knew and i was like what are you doing like you divvy like you're you're a fella swearing at a young girl and um no he panicked then and i was like weird by you what's wrong with everyone it's written wednesday cheer up will you yeah, i feel like when i've got no voice i end up scouser i don't know whether that's just me but um i just need to go and get my bed i need to calm down i feel okay because it's clearly a projection of him like he was absolutely furious grow up you could have fitted the bus in between us grow up this show sure best cheer me up. Oh wow, look at that chair. It's giving life. 
I was given Soho Home Duke a hundred percent. Wow, how much is she? 199.99. I've also just spotted this, but I think it's sold. It's 100 pounds, but it's online. It's gorge. Do you know what? We'll just go and have a quick look, shall we? This was an intentional look round. Oh, he's cute. He is so cute. Oh, I love them as well. This whole setup survive actually. I do miss merchandising and all oh, the Easter stuff. Have they still got Alan? No use for anyone who is a TK Maxx super fan. Alan the pig is like an icon in the TK Maxx world. They've got an Easter Alan the pig. No, I know. Um, oh wow, they're marble, aren't they gorge? I need to not buy another Easter. I was gonna buy them the other day, you know. They're a bit of me. Need to not buy any more Easter stuff. They haven't got much Valentine's left. Loads of floral and plant pots coming in. And he's gonna get me burn anyway. Oh my god, no mess. No use the size of him. Oh my god, no, he's massive. That's my hand. How much is he? And he's how much he is. Oh my god. I think he's the one online that's like a hundred pounds. If he's our linker, he might be more than that though, because he is ginormous. It reminds me of the one I seen in Paris, like the Diamantes one. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god, you, you know the way I want a new studio chair? It's chocolate brown. And chocolate brown is selling this year. It's 2 30. Do I get and sell mine? I don't know. I love that colour though. Oh my god, stunning. 12 99 There's four. They're new. Need. Sometimes you can find a little book, a little gem. This is 20 quid, no matter who. I love that. The rest are a bit naff, I'm not gonna lie. They're nice, but they're not wow. I mean, this lighting isn't the one, but I got him! He's like stone. Like, is that any help or is that worse? Okay, that won't even turn off now. I got him. It's a stone bear brick, you can't really see him. Can you see him? Focus, oh yeah, you can. I am so excited and happy. Like, I don't even know what number bear brick this is at this moment in time. It's quite embarrassing. Embarrassed for myself. But I'm the bear brick queen. Probably, realistically, the amount of fake, well, dupe bear bricks I've bought. I could have bought the Keith Heron one. Yeah, probably because I've actually, people put that in my comments all the time and I'm like, well, it's fun buying the 12 99 ones, okay? I am gonna, like I know I say this all the time, but I am gonna buy the Keith Heron one. But you know what, guys, I'm gonna be real with you. Is I wanna buy it when, like, I move out and when, like, basically, I've always said, like, when I feel like, in my career, like, I want to buy myself that as, like, a treat. Like, there's been loads of times where, like, people have said, do you want me to get that for you? Because, like, you know, as a gift. And I'm like, no. And that's not me being ungrateful. But I know when I buy it, like, that will represent something for me. And I'm very much like that. Like, I like buying stuff for myself to represent things, if that makes sense. So, like, I'm, I'm waiting for that because I will buy it when I'm ready and when... Do you know what I mean? So... Yeah, that, that's just the story behind it. And also, the ET one I've seen in Paris is definitely an answer to the list. But anyway, I'm going to drive home with my beer. And I'm going to get ready for London tomorrow, um, which I'm really looking forward to. And obviously, I'll bring yous with me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go stand my beer. I might put this one in the living room because, you know, our gorgeous wallpaper. You know what? I'll show you when I'm home. So, I literally nearly missed the train this morning. I've just had to run to work at a Starbucks. And you know, I need a Starbucks. I'm back in my vlogging era, so now Charlotte is, is on the vlogs. She's yeah, got a lot of shy. Oh god! <laughs> we need this. So I literally just walking to the event now. Um, the train was gorgeous, Jenny, and it's been quite an easy trip. 
thus far. So yeah, we're gonna go to this event now. We're hoping it's gonna be good. So we're back in it will be. And then we are gonna not no, come no, into no. anyone. <laughs> we're gonna go for a coffee first. So we're hoping we're in Shoreditch. I haven't been here in years, so hopefully there's somewhere nice to go. There's someone else. They're here. Oh, look, they've painted all that as well. Which? Oh my god, boss. Oh, that oh my god, that looks insane. magazine and it's my privilege today to host this discussion about the future of colour as described by the Crown Paints Colour Insights 2024-2025. We played two things about the story um, and the insights what we found is that they start, they don't just stop and start like as the year ends, it's a continuous cycle so the stories what we had last year still run through um, things don't just stop, like sustainability doesn't stop becoming important just because it's year round. Um, but each year we find new ways to bring inspiration. So last year one of the things that we were looking at is joy. And it's about designing for joy, not just for well-being, which is longer term, but designing for joy, which is more instant. Community is um, basically looks on that. This is definitely our brightest colour palette uh, this year. It is very, very bright and very, very bold. And uh, we can, as you can see, there's few very, very bright shades. We've got new primary red, yellow, and green, and also joined by hot pink. So only some of the smaller slivers of colour that you can see there can be used in accessories and furnishings, which pull through really nicely. Um, we've got quite a few colours there from our crafted range, so the likes of leather bound. Um, it's a beautiful rich red, dark, really dark colour. And ceramic can, which when you apply it in settings like this, with the lighting, um, it looks, it's one of those things. But that's not really what we're about. Um, I think the beauty of our roles is that we quite frequently talk to people from a myriad of industries, which helps steer and guide, and also begin to pick up early, not, not trends, because like Gemma said, these, these evolve, they don't, they're not flippant, they don't, they stand the test of time and you'll notice that what we talked about last year evolves through this year and it evolves through like this time. We've got common certainly in a lot of the everything that we see within fashion design as well. We see a lot more in, coming through in terms of nationalism. I think we can see like the colour is absolutely very, very powerful tool and it can really change our emotions and how we feel and uh, it can really uplift the spaces and I think that, that's why a lot of our coal plants are quite, quite bright because we, I think we are looking for uh, a bit more <coughs> positivity. We've got uh, a lot, especially in obviously the digital era as well, all this news are bombarding us from all the signs and it could be quite worrying. <laughs>
color palette. <laughs> the nice colors. Perfect second wave, guys. Thank yeah. you. Oh my god, you used one of a kind. Look how many Charlotte's got. My voice is starting to go again. And this is definitely your color. Yeah. This is like my palette. This is Charlotte's palette. This is a bit of me. Yeah, I think that's me. I love this one. This is nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just going to ignore how shiny Ellie's fod is and how messy her hair is, but that was amazing, wasn't it, Charles? Yeah, it was good. Charles got to go home before me. What was your favourite colour? Um, Pivot. What was yours? Oh, the clacks and Pivot. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, I like Community. Very yeah. colourful. That is very colourful. Very you. Lots of primary. I was having people were like, you've come as like your palette, like <laughs> Charles, and I'm literally like my white neutral queen. <laughs> but it was so good, but I'm going to take Charlotte station while the Uber driver's going to take us yeah. and then I'm going to go to Covent Garden I think because I did a poll on me story the other day about um, it's then. OTK. OTK and I was OTK. like um, yeah I said um, what to say oh yeah what is the best one I've almost seen the one by Covent Garden yeah I've not seen that one I have not so Enjoy. if you're wrong I'm coming for you <laughs> Gang, the voice is getting worse by the days and I've got to film a podcast this week because I missed last week because I had no voice. So if you do listen to the next episode of the podcast, please bear with the voice. Anyway, London was absolutely amazing. They actually gave me a little goodie bag with loads of like paint samples. So that's called Insight. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. They also got me some handmade chocolate truffles. I'm not eating them because you're always going to do bad. She kind of looks nimble, you know. So I'll give them to like me dad'll scoff them, like, don't get me wrong. Um speaking of, I've got loads of PR parcels that we opened together. Um I also got a new um SD card for the camera for Dubai, the Dubai vlog, and also this which is really good. So if you've got a Canon or I think a Sony and you put your SD card in that and it goes straight into your iPhone. So the gorgeous, gorgeous girls will be getting pictures, do you know what I mean? That door is absolutely winding me up. It needs lifting and closing. And this needs restyling since Christmas. I just haven't had a minute, so don't judge the girly, okay? Um, I've just been sent this. I haven't actually opened it. Um, a flower parcel from Marmalade of London. Um, by the way, sorry, I haven't caught you up. London was amazing. Um, literally yesterday, I just... After that event, I just literally went and grabbed a coffee, did some work in a coffee shop, and then went home. Like, I was done in, to be honest with you. Um, it says, Hello, Ellie, it's great to have you on board, and we would hope you like your gifts. Love from Helen and Piers Founders. Thank you so much. So, they've sent me a Wellbeing Calm diffuser. I love a diffuser lately. I think I said that in my last vlog. Like, I'm more of a diffuser girl at the minute than a candle, but, but they have sent me a candle as well. But I'll still use them, so it all doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, that Colour Insights was so, so good. That event, like, honestly, use these events are events that I could only dream of getting invited to. Like, you don't understand. Like, I used to watch people's, like, social media, YouTube, Instagram, like, when I was in Home Sense, like, years ago. And I used to be like, to them, oh, my God, like, I would just love to be invited to that. Like, put it on my vision board. And I'm, like, living that now. And it's, like, it gets me quite emotional. So I don't, like, talk about it too much because I will cry on the vlog. But, like... When I was there yesterday, I was just like, oh my God, do you know what I mean? Like, this is my life. Like, I literally felt so grateful and I still do. Like, I'm just thinking about it now. Like, as I say, this is only things I've ever dreamed of. I've also been sent. Um, yeah, so that event happened and then I got sent this. So, this is Tallow and Ash. Um, they are a laundry um, detergent, whatever. What do you say? Do you say laundry detergent, don't you? Um, but it's called laundry conditioner. Anyway, they've brought out a new fragrance which is called Date Night, and I'm sorry that colour is matching the bag colour that um, the coach bag, isn't it? How unreal is that? It's just such vibes. So I believe it smells gorgeous. So I'm gonna give it a smell. Now I've got really sensitive. I haven't got sensitive skin, but I have to laundry detergent. So I'll let you know how that goes. But I'm really excited. It's cherry liqueur almond, rose jasmine vanilla wood patchouli. Um, oh amazing by the way these are gifted and um, they just sent me them you know just to be transparent with everyone and then finally i can't really sh okay oh, oh i can't really show you basically on instagram i've got an amazing collaboration no i'm lying 
on TikTok. Can I show you? Okay, on TikTok, I've got an amazing collab coming. Um, and basically, this is a box full of home goodies. But when I when you watch this, it won't be live, so I can't actually show you. But I mean, I can show you one thing, surely. Oh my god, this box is huge. I'm not going to tell you where it's from, but if you follow me, sorry, can you even see me? Hi. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, you all will be revealed. But I feel like I just need to show you this. Oh my god, this candles in there, please don't splash. Um, yeah, can you see the label? I'll hide the label. I'm sorry. Iconic, iconic. Like, is that not just a bit of me? I love a quirky cushion. Like, Okay, so I've got this and I've got all loads of other goodies. That's all you're getting. Stay tuned for the TikTok and then I'll probably do an unboxing for or just show you the items in the next vlog, next week's vlog. Because you I'm actually stressed. I'm 26 next week. 26 years of age. I'm edging 30. Edging 30 and it's only just hit me. I actually can't even discuss it. No, I actually can't. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I have moments where I remember remember speak sorry i um, can't have a voice um yeah i have moments where i panic so can someone reassure me in the comments that it's fine everything's gonna be all right it's just like scary isn't it like i think like when you're younger you just presume you're gonna be at this place and you're not I keep losing my voice like i know i'll cry on my birthday guaranteed i cry every birthday it's like it's a happy and a sad thing isn't it so why do i genuinely look like i'm all boy for right now it's quite cold in this house not gonna lie um and it stinks of soup because my mum's making me my favorite soup i'm a soup girl i love soup anyway um, i'm going off on one i've literally just been for laser just to keep up with my life just being for laser everyone asks me if it hits it doesn't would recommend laser being getting it for years it's amazing um and now i'm gonna go and film this content so that's my life obviously i won't film all that like i feel like people think like oh my god like this girlie just goes to London and this girlie just does this and that. I'm showing you the highlights, okay? Like, I'm not going to show you me sitting there at the laptop writing emails because why would you want to watch that? That's boring. Unless you do want to see that. And, like, the behind the scenes of your film. And actually, that probably would be a good video. But then that's a problem. Like, when you do do content creation, do do. Like, I can't film the behind the scenes of something because it needs signing off and things like that. Does that make sense? Um, so, yeah. But, anyway, with regards to the Crown events, thank you so much for having me. Um, I really appreciate it. There's me just thinking anyone in the crown team's watching this. If you are, please do let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for having me. Like that was such an amazing opportunity, and I'm absolutely buzzing. So yeah, I'm gonna do some work. I'll try and see if I can manage the podcast. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, which is a real letdown from myself. But we'll see, and I'll um, catch you on the flip side. Is that the way the camera goes? I don't know. Is this a 10 out of 10? Oh my god! Yeah. I feel like I blend in. Yeah. I literally bought like at my old age. Like, what a hoi. Oh my god, they've got the made.com lamps. 89.99. They're gorgeous and I love them as well. They're so soft. But I love them. How are we all? Um, <laughs> I think I've got laryngitis. <laughs> it's been an absolute nightmare. I've literally just lost my voice completely. It keeps dipping in and out. I have moments where I don't have a voice. So, unfortunately, there will be no podcast episode this week, which I'm really angry about because I've missed two now. Um, it's upsetting when, like, that was, like, one of my goals and things like that to, like, be on track with this year. And you just have these moments where the universe has tested me, which I feel like has been a lot with this flipping podcast. But it's absolutely fine. I will bounce back. Um... And in saying that, I just want to thank everyone for sending me nice messages this week. It's meant a lot, especially when you're beating yourself up over your content. And like with influence and all content creation or whatever it may be, when people say, please like, like, follow, subscribe, that's never like an ego boost for people. Like, it just means like when you comment under this video or when you message me, it just makes me feel like I'm, I'm doing good content that you enjoy like because you don't have a manager or someone to tell you like that's good bad or ugly you sort of just have to gauge it off yourself like 
bring you in a nine to five someone can say oh that was rubbish do it again you sort of don't have that so obviously if people don't comment or like you think to yourself oh my god everyone hated that like that's just horrendous and you beat yourself up for like a week over it so yeah if i ever say thank you so much that's why i say thank you because it honestly means the world so definitely if you want to ever chat to me in the comments please do like it, it does mean a lot and i appreciate that you value this video as well um but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog as best as you can, even with me. Um, I've actually been out this weekend, um, I've caught up with a few friends, people in the industry and things like that. Um, and I'm really proud of myself, or am I getting old? Because literally, it's your birthday this weekend, I'm 26, I'm starting to stress. I've stressed this whole vlog about turning 26, it just happens every birthday, I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, I've met up with like friends, um, and I haven't drank, that was what I was going to say. I've literally drove home, like both times, like... I'm just like so over the hangover, you know, I'm getting to that, I'm literally officially old, like, I'm, I hate hangovers, like, I'd rather just have one or not dr or dr drive even, like, I am getting to that age, aren't I? Oh, it's actually really embarrassing. Anyway, oh, it's a dreamy bear style, one sec. Here's the bear, the stone bear brick, isn't it gorgeous? I'm so happy with it. Um, it looks so nice with all like this bit, but bless me mum, she's just put it here to have a little go with styling, but I am going to move it, but it is going to stay in here, Um, but isn't it gorgeous, like that is literally, like look at it against, like I'll put it against our wallpaper, like honestly obsessed with our wallpaper in here, by the way, it get, always gets so many answers, um, questions about it, I'll link it for you, um, but yeah, I'm just so made up with him. I think he could possibly be my favourite. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really am in my vlogging era. Um, I hope you're enjoying the vlogs as well. Um, there's going to be loads more content. Like, at this time of year, it's so hard for me to get, like, specific home content. Like, obviously, I've took trips into home sense, but there's not enough stock to do, like, you know, the way I do, like, my usual, like, full home sense come shop with me's or whatever shop it may be. There's just not enough, like, ripe stock yet to get a full video because I love doing them and they haven't stopped at all. It's just, like in dipping of seasonal periods i love to do the vlog so you still get like a bit of bit of me and a bit of home content and all that so i'm really glad she's enjoying it and thanks for messaging me um and yeah in the next vlog i will be 26 if you want to keep up with me 26 diaries you can follow me on tiktok and instagram because i'm sure i'm gonna have a million nervous breakdowns this week i don't know what it is about birthdays please let me know in the comments if anyone else is like this but yeah anyway i'm gonna get this vlog edited right now right this second and get it over two years so i do hope you've enjoyed it and if you have and you want to keep up with feminine interiors on all socials make sure you follow me at feminine interiors and press the subscribe thank you so much and i will see you when i turn 26 ah!